All right, guys, welcome back. This is just our crystal growth chamber. Basically, you put in fluid seeds or quartz seeds are the other one. So there's different types. So there's certus quartz seeds, nether quartz seeds, and fluid seeds. So f you can put any of these inside of this growth chamber and it will grow them. Um, you can, I don't know if you can upgrade the speed on this or not. It doesn't really matter. So now we've got a stack of pure fluid crystals. So now we should be able to make this. So we've got our controller, cool. We're gonna need a disk drive, which does take some cable, so not a problem. Let me just grab some. Um, and it does just need to be the base stuff. Just grab a bunch of it so we have it. Disk drive, cool. And then the last step is gonna be to actually make the hard drive so we can store uh, our items in the computer, right? So, got two. Next is for a 1K cell, so we need one of these. And basically what you can do, we'll make three of them for now, uh, you can upgrade them, and it's three of the tier before to make one of the next tier. So we do need a calculation processor, which takes pure Certus crystals, um, so not a big deal. We'll make that very emceeable. So learn. And we'll make these two because you can do just a bunch of 1k drives, uh, kind of the way this system works. It'll hold 63 different items and then the storage size is how many you can hold in a stack of that item. So with the 1k you can hold 1024 of 63 different items, 4k, 4096 of 63, uh, 16, 16,000, 64, 65,000, right? So it's best to upgrade all the way if you can. Um, this one, since we're just starting out, doesn't necessarily matter if we're going to make uh, just, you know, the basic ones. Um, but, yeah, we will upgrade them eventually. So we're going to make a little bit more of this. Uh, I've got silicon on me. Cool. So we'll make, we'll just do one calculation processor for now. Um, that way we can go ahead and make our hard drive and plug it in, kind of show you how that works. But yeah, so not silicon, calculation, put in the pure, and that will give us our processor that we need to upgrade these 1Ks into a 4K. Because 4K is obviously better than 1K, right? Um, that's going, so put these away, so don't necessarily need them, and we've got our processor, cool. All right, so let's go back to Applied Energistics and make our 4K drive, right? Um, so 4K, we need a 4K storage component. What are we missing for that? Oh, quartz glass. That's easy too, because it is useable. So we'll grab a bunch of this because it is used for so many different things that this probably won't even be enough, but whatever. It's a good start, right? Um, here we go, cool, got our 4K, get that out of here, and then 4K storage cell, built like that, and here we go guys, we've got our 4K drive, our hard drive, and our controller, the last thing we need is some cables, and I'm going to use some smart cables, so if I type in smart, it's going to show us all the shitty ones first, but we can then grab, we we'll just grab, actually, you know what, we're going to use green, because why not? Um, okay, so the way this kind of works, you plonk your controller on an energy acceptor and it powers up, so this is powered up now. Next, so each side can output a maximum of 32 channels, right? So the key is to not have any of these lines touch, otherwise that will decrease. Now, with that being said, I did want to show you guys kind of how to build this little tricky system. We're going to do that later. I just want to plug the computer in first. Uh, that'll be another episode. It'll probably be standalone. So we've got that. So now, technically speaking, we've got a computer. We've got storage. We've got a controller. And we're only using one out of 32 channels from that side and none of the others. With that being said, we still ha are not finished because how do you access the computer, right? Um, the answer is you build a terminal. So there's crafting terminals and there's just regular terminals. 
Regular terminals will let you pull out items. Crafting terminals will let you craft items as well. So we're going to need more of these logic processors. Um, so what might be worth doing is actually building an advanced inscriber. Let's see if we can. We're missing one engineering processor. So let's make an engineering processor and then we can kind of go from there. So silicon engineering and I need diamonds, I need redstone, and I need silicon. Cool. We are set. So throw in that with this. We're just going to make the one. We're going to automate it once we get an advanced inscriber because it uh, like this is literally the worst part of this mod is that you have to manually make these initially right but that's gonna change don't worry so here we go do this and at least with the advanced inscriber you can throw a stack in at a time so i can queue up 64 printed silicon and be good to go uh, we're gonna break that because we need it for the recipe put you there and you there and now we've got an advanced inscriber so pretty cool right uh you plug that in like so, and it connects off the energy acceptor. So these are locks, so you can't remove with automation. If you're gonna use these inscribers for more than one recipe, you wanna make sure that they're unlocked, otherwise it won't work. So with that being said, if I throw in this and all this silicon, see now it will stack, and that's that's helpful. So we've got that all built out, cool. Um, these are non emcable huh? Okay, well that's fine. Um, so. That's kind of the basic setup for Applied Energistics. Not too bad, right? Um, you know, it's it's a little worse than Refined Storage in this mod pack because Refined Storage, almost everything is EMCable, whereas with Applied Energistics, almost nothing is EMCable. But it's okay. I mean, we'll, we'll make it one way or another. <laughs> um, but yeah. So let's grab a couple more inscribers because the way this is going to work, we're going to build a total of five advanced inscribers, and then I can kind of go work with that to make an automatic crafting system with these. And what I might do, just because I think it will be easier due to the channel issue, is I might leave the advanced inscriber, or the auto crafting, uh, with refined storage because it's EMCable, right? Um, I think it will still work, even though they're different mods. I think I can throw a crafter um, next to my uh, advanced inscriber and still have it work, even though it's not technically applied energistics. I'm hoping that's the case. If not, then we'll have to go into auto crafting with AE2. But we did get a few quests, uh, so controller, easy drive easy next is a crafting terminal and they have their own wireless terminals and then the pattern terminal to make recipes automatically but pretty easy stuff i mean whatever we'll get through all these quests obviously uh we'll make all of it i don't know if we're going to utilize all of it but we'll make it all at least um with that what i want to do is i want to see if this Compress refined EMC link will allow me to basically access everything. So I need a bus. And I think it's just a storage bus, honestly. So I need an interface which takes these stupid cores. Okay, so I need some logic processors. That's fine. Um, there's our press. Let's get some gold. And let's get some redstone. So I'm glad I started making this silicon because we're going to need it. Yay. Um, cool. We got 34, I guess. All right. So logic. We'll make a few of these. Um, and then I think if you throw a storage bus on to a refined EMC link, you can access everything in your EMC table through that computer. And then if we put another bus from refined storage on the controller or into the computer system, I think it will sync them up. So we'll take a look at that next time. Until then, we'll see ya.